What's up, Brian Tong here, and welcome to Google Delicious for everything Google you can think of. Google's flagship Pixel phone has continued to exceed expectations and even made up 7.5% of activations on Verizon last month, but it really needs to strike deals with other carriers, so it's perceived as more than just a Verizon phone, even if it works with all the other carriers. Now, according to Morgan Stanley, the Pixel is on track to sell 3 million phones this year with $2 billion in revenue and 5 to 6 million more in 2017 with a revenue of roughly 3.8 billion. Great overall reviews, the Samsung Note 7's debacle and a $30 million per week advertising budget are also probably helping, you know, a little bit as well. Now, Pixel phone owners would like to play nice with their iPhone friends, but it appears there's an image bug with screenshots only sent from an iPhone 7 Plus to a Pixel or Pixel XL via SMS, MMS, or Hangouts. Now, you can see an example of this distortion. Google staff is aware of the issue, but no word on a software fix just yet. And since we're talking about software, the consumer release of Android Nougat 7.1.1 is scheduled to roll out on December the 6th. This software update will bring the same software with all of Nougat's bells and whistles on Pixel phones to the Nexus 5X, 6P, Pixel C, and Nexus 9. That will be around 650 megabytes and will release alongside of a December security update. Also, one of the standout features from the Pixel is the artificial intelligence they've started to build on the phone. Now, two recent postings are showing us how far Google has come and really where they are going. Now, with Google Translate, they have built a new system called Google Neural Machine Translation, or GNMT for short, that allows it to translate between different languages it has never learned. Now, it takes millions of examples that are plugged into the system and can then translate to languages it has never been taught. And you know what? That's pretty sweet, especially for travel. But another report from New Scientist reveals that Google's DeepMind project can lip read TV shows better than a pro. In partnership with Oxford University, the system was trained using over 5,000 hours of video from six different BBC TV programs. Now, by only looking at a speaker's lips, the system accurately identified entire phrases like this one. We have to look at whether it works for the UK or not. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought she said. Now, compared to a professional lip reader, the pro annotated just 12.4% of words without any errors. And then you can see where this is going. The AI annotated 46.8% of all words correctly. Are you afraid yet? Like, just wait until those robots from the future can start understanding us by reading our lips. And here's a great example that we, as humans, have a long way to go. I said, kikariki. I mean, there's a snake over there. There's a snake over there. And you know, I don't know if it bit a guy, but I don't want to be that close to it. I got a squirt, got a squirt, I got a squirt, gonna squirt, gonna squirt. You should be out there playing accordion. Like I said, we have a long ways. And just in time for the holiday season, Google Search and Maps are getting real-time feedback with how busy a location is that you want to go to. They added the popular times feature last year, but now you'll be able to see a real-time readout of how busy it is at the moment, and you can see how long people stay at that location on average. Plus, business hours are now available as well. That's helpful because it constantly is changing during this time of the year, and all of these tweaks just make our lives a little easier. And you know what? That's a good goal. All right, that's going to do it for this week. You can email me at googleicious at cnet.com or tweet me at Brian Tong. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll catch you all next time for some more of that Googleicious. Googleicious.